Hi guys, Henry here. Um, I'm going to show you a really nice effective system to use your uh, Trello, a Trello board as a CRM. Um, because when you're starting out, there's no point going straight into HubSpot or Active Campaign because they're expensive. And this system that I'm going to show you works really well just to get you going. Okay, so if you just watch this, I will show you, I'll show you the whole thing within two or three minutes. Okay, so this is Gravity Forms. So what you need is a Gravity Forms add-on, which is the Trello add-on. Okay, so go ahead and take the Trello add-on, which is right here. This is a plugin, which you upload to your WordPress installation. And here it is right here, once it's been uploaded. So the next thing you need to do is to click Settings. And then from Settings, um, this section here just, just has your username and your password for your Trello account. All nice and simple. And what this will do is it will connect Gravity Forms with Trello. So there's no need for Zapier. Okay. So once that's all been connected, then go ahead and click on Forms because we're going to create a form that links up to your Trello board. So I've called mine Lead Form. And this is, this is the form that's going to connect, connect to Trello. And it's going to act like a really uh, neat and tidy and clean and easy to use CRM. So you go to your lead form, you create your form exactly the way that you want it. So you know, first name, last name, email, phone number, um, and any other fields you want. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pass this information and create a Trello card. Okay. So because, because we installed the Trello plugin, it is now going to be in our drop down here. So go ahead and click on Trello. And then all we need to do is to create a feed. Now the feed will connect to your Trello board. So go to Trello and go ahead and create a board, which we can do together right now. So I'm going to call mine. Um, I'm going to call mine CRM. Okay, simple as that. And there you are, a completely um, blank Trello board. And then we'll call this incoming leads. All right, so that's it. That's that board now created. Okay, now we go back to our WordPress installation and then here we create a feed. So let's call this feed simply um, CRM. Uh, yeah, CRM, that's fine. Now, because it's connected to Trello, it will find our Trello boards. And there it is. That's one that we just signed up for that we created. GH CRM. So now what it does is it pulls in all of the data on this Trello board and it finds all of the existing lists. And the list that we just created is called incoming leads. Now just to go back there, there it is, incoming leads. Now what happens next is that when the gravity forms uh, uh, form is filled in, then we can pass the information from gravity forms and create a card. So the way that I do it, that I suggest, is to create it by name, okay? So do uh, first name and then do last name. The reason for this is because the title of the card will have the person's name. So it's a nice tidy way to sort of stay on top of your CRM and lead gen management. So let's just go ahead and put these other fields in as well. Okay, uh, so we'll put the name again, why not? Um, and also remember, this can have all of the fields in your gravity form are gonna be here. So you can populate it with all of the data that you want there. Um, you can also color code it as well. Uh, in Trello, as you know, I'm sure you can color code cards. Okay, but anyways, let's just keep it simple. Go ahead, click update settings. And that is that. So let's just do a quick demonstration. Let's go ahead and create a form and I'll show you just how amazing and simple this whole thing is. So private window. This is my site. I just set this up with you. Okay, so contact and this is the form. So let's do, uh, you know, first name Henry Look Testing and then my email, uh, email is, we'll go with um, Okay, and then obviously phone number when you want. The website is anything you want. Facebook page is here. Again, these are all fields which you can do yourself. 
And then I would like to make a ton load of more money, okay? And then submit. Now, that is the form. Now, oh, hang on a second. Let me just do this correctly. And submit, okay? And then that now submits the form to Trellis. Let's go and have a take a look at it there. And there it is, you see? There it is. The name comes in here and the description is here. Okay, so it's as simple as that. And like I said, you can color code this so you can put colors in. Now, what I do, the way that I do it is I do, um, I do a board called exchanging. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see. There you go. I make a board called exchanging and then uh, warm. And then here you can put like closed, for example. Okay. That's what you. That's that's how. That's the way that I do it. So now that you've got your simple um, kind of incoming leads and you know very basic CRM, what you can do is keep a track of who you're communicating with, and then just move them down the line, and that's it. Okay. So in summary, um, I would do this if I were you, if you were just starting out, and save you money. You don't need to go straight to HubSpot. You don't need to go straight to Active Campaign, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just start with this, okay? Just get the business going, get the leads coming in, and then, of course, 100%, start moving into, um, you know, more sophisticated CRMs. So I hope that helps you, um, and uh, thanks very much for watching the video.